Hey guys, Rita Wells here. I am here to do the new moon in Scorpio that is happening October 27th. Tonight, we are going to take a look at Divine Masculine, Divine Feminine energies. We're also going to take a look at karmic cycles that are coming up to heal because Scorpio is all about bringing out the dark. It's a dark time. Um, Mercury retrograde is coming up. So that also means that the veil between our world and the spirit world and darkness and things that we don't necessarily want to face is coming up. So if you're new to my channel, welcome, welcome. Make sure you hit that subscribe button. And to my returning subscribers, you know how we do this. I always hold a special intention so that we move forward together as a tribe. So let's go guys. Let's get started. All right, let's get started. Let's take a look at masculine energy. I'm really pulled to see where masculine energy is right now in regards to the new moon spirit. Just tap it on my obsidian here. All right, <clears throat> we're gonna pull an animal card. Now guys, These, uh, all these readings are going to have extensions from now on. And to get on the extensions, to watch the extensions, you'll have to join the subscription, which is every month. So if you'd like more information, take a look down below. But let's see, Spirit, what is going on for Divine Masculine? What spirit animal is coming forth for him as a guide as we come into the new moon in Scorpio? Thank you. Oh, we've got two that are coming out. We've got the bee. I'm using my new camera, guys. So let's hope this one's better. We have the bear. We've got three for the masculine. Wow. These are very beautiful. The bear. Okay. And we have the cobra. Okay. This is kundalini energy. So the first thing that I'm getting here for the masculine, it's really about... <sighs> Well, there's a relationship between the bees and the honey and the bears and the and the honey and the bear and all of that. That's the first thing that's coming through because that's this is what spirit's bringing through. This is how the masculine is thinking about his life. You know, bees work very hard, right? They harvest, they uh, work together. They're always they're working always for the queen, right? They're always working for the queen. That's what bees do. They work for the queen. Okay, they serve. They're of a place of service. So these masculines are looking at, I want to be of service and I want to be of service to the queen, to the feminine energy. And what do bears love? I mean, they're mothering, they're nurturing, they're protective, they're grounded. But this is like protecting, you know, how they would protect their bear cubs, you know. They're very big. They have a presence about them. And that's what masculine energy is about. And they love the honey, right? This is, I believe, um, we're gonna, I'm going to read a little bit of the description because these are brand new cards that I've never used them before, so I'm just going by intuition right now. And this is what Spirit is coming, uh, bringing forth here is the Cobra. And the Cobra is really about Kundalini awakening. You know, I'm just going to bring this down a little bit more. Kundalini awakening. Maybe my lighting isn't the best. Yeah, so this is Kundalini that's coming up. I'm going to read the, the book a little bit. I've never used, this is the first time I'm using these cards, guys. They are the Animal uh, Spirit Guidebook by Kim Kranz. So let's take a look at the bear. And I wasn't going to use these because I'm not really that much into reading cards and reading the description. Um, I just like to get a feel for it. So this is waking from spiritual slumber and beginning anew. It's about inner strength. So this is the bear. This is about inner strength, yearning to grow. Okay. When they're out of balance, they withdraw. They have a heaviness to them. They're lethar lethargic as well. Okay. And to bring it to balance, they need to move and they need to exercise. So that's really about the masculine waking up, wanting to grow, right? Um, and starting things anew. What we have here with the bee, I feel like I don't need to read the bee, to be honest with you. I don't, I'm not feeling this. I don't feel like I can read this. I'm sorry, guys. It's just not my thing. 
that's let's just take the messages as they come that's really what i'm feeling that's what that was about this is about the kundalini awakening okay this is about the snake rising up and coming into a place of balance okay let's take a look here and see what's going on with feminine energy in comparison to the masculine and this is for the new moon guys what's coming on up for the feminine that's a little too many we'll take the one can we have one more feminines are well, we got two more so we got just as many as the masculine no we got four We've got Unicorn for the Feminine. We have Scorpion. Wow. Wow, that's, that, <laughs> that is very uh, prominent because we are coming into Scorpio Moon. So, Feminines, you're bringing up the dark. You're raising up the dark, right? You're doing your work. You're using your Unicorn is, you know, about peace and unity and love. And these are such contrasting cards right here, right? But they're needed. They, they work very well together, right? The darkness, the poison brings this poison. Look how it's illuminated. The pain, your pain and your suffering, right? When we recognize we don't have to suffer, guys, but we have to feel the pain. And so this pain of this sting will bring illumination, will bring you into peace and harmony, will bring you into truth diving into that darkness okay we've also got the turtle the turtle is the one animal uh, there's not many you know that can move between the water and the emotions and ground that into the earth that's perfect balance of masculine and feminine energy they move and flow with the water and move a lot faster in emotions you know can work through those things and can yet ground themselves into the earth plane and they move very slowly in the earth plane, which is masculine energy. Okay. Let's put these down here together. And we've got the lamb as well to be gentle. So we have a lot of contrasting <laughs> energies here of what's happening. So as the masculine is waking up, this is what I'm seeing. Let me take a sip of coconut water. Give me a sec. As the masculines are really waking up from their slumber, okay? Granted, we're going into winter here in, in Canada, so, um, <clears throat> but I mean, we have the bee here too. They're working really hard. They want to come into their power, okay? Kundalini awakening. They are awakening. The stake has been stirred, okay? They're completely aware that they need to wake, they need to move, they need to take action now. It's a time to take action, and they've got to deal with this dark that comes up and how to action through that and how to work through that for the queen, right? For the feminine energy, I'm not going to say just for the queen, right? But for the feminine energy inside of them, you know, this is also a very feminine, can be very feminine. I know this, I'm not sure about the symbol, but it is the tri upside down triangle, which is like the womb. Okay. So that has very much something to do with the balance. And, and it's very much what the feminines are going to have to do. Okay. Balancing this light and this dark. The first two out were the scorpion and the unicorn, right? So it's really about owning your power in these two densities. One's very mystical and beautiful, and the other is very dark. Can you hold those two points at the same time? That's what spirit wants you to know, feminines. Can you hold this peaceful, beautiful place at the same time as still going through the, the grossest, darkest pain as possible? That's what this, this moon is going to come up. It's going to pull you and stretch you, Divine Feminine, okay, to sit in this and to be gentle with yourself and to flow with it, with the turtle, to flow and to be gentle and sweet and okay with it, okay? Innocent. This is about innocence, coming, coming back into an innocent place of your inner child. Yeah, yeah. Okay, let's pull some tarot that's really what i'm feeling here i'm gonna use the star man deck we're not taking reversals today spirit can you please show us what is going on with the masculine energies as they come into the new moon tonight what is going on with their balancing and their energies and this is going to carry right through to mercury retrograde guys so we're asking in regards to tonight which is the 27th to uh mercury retrograde carry us through what is going on through spirit what's going to be happening with masculine energy here please thank you yeah we're ready we are ready ready freddy let's clarify clarify the b please so 
we're coming into this working hard, being busy, creating, you know, the sweetness and the nectar of life, right? That's really what we want. We've got the wheel is the first one out, okay? So I guess I'm going to just pause this for a minute while I fix the lighting. Just give me a second. Okay, guys. Sorry, I wanted to fix the lighting because you won't notice it anyways, but I wanted to make sure that it was good for you guys as I'm still figuring out my technical stuff. Sorry, guys. So we have here the first card out was the wheel. Okay, so things are starting to turn now, okay? This is uh, karma starting to clear up, things moving in a full alignment, okay, with the B. We also have here the Five of Pentacles, okay, and the Nine of Cups. So what I'm getting here is the masculine is realizing with the B, okay, as the wheel starts turning, as fate starts turning, so as this moon is coming about, okay, they're realizing more of their abandonment issues. And this Nine of Cups is not always, I don't take the Nine of Cups as it's it's a as a an amazing thing all the time. It's okay. It's safe. It's nice. It's nine of cups. It's, you know, I got my house, I got my home. You know, ah, the person I'm with, you know, I can deal with them. It's calm. It's okay. It's all right. It's all right. I can handle it. It's not like, oh my God, this is I'm on mission, I'm alignment, I'm following God, and everything is like magical and and we're building this calling together no it's not like that <laughs> right it's um it's all right um but realizing that they've got to really work here now okay they're just they're humbled i feel like they're getting very humbled in this energy and and this humbleness of why this is happening right now is because they've got to really look at how they're working in the earth plane because they haven't been working as, as they should. All right, guys? They haven't been working as they should. They've been working for the Nine of Cups. That's really what they've been working for. And they've got it. A lot of them have this. You know? It, and it wasn't what made them happy. Right? So they still feel completely left out of their life. They feel abandoned. They feel left out. Let's see what the bear is coming about. Because the bear is bringing in, you know, needing to take action now. Coming out of a slumber. Waking up now. The bear is also about, you know, nurturing themselves, okay, nurturing and, and wanting to eat the fruits of their labor. So they want to, they're in a place of realizing that what they put into life, they're going to get out of it. The universe will conspire and manifest it, right? And so they've realized that they have to put that work in of what they truly desire. And they may be only thinking on a material basis right now. They may not be thinking on a spiritual basis, Okay. Because we've got the bear here, we've got the six of wands and the eight of swords. Okay, so we've got the six of wands here, which is, you know, marriage, victory, success after the hard work. So what I'm getting from these masculines is, you know, they're really looking at success in a very limited way. Okay, whatever they're going through right now, but the wheel is turning, they're creating, they have to recreate their life and realize, thank you, spirit, how they created it before. Okay, they have a new awareness now and how they've created their life before and how they're going to move about creating their life now. They're going to start noticing the different signs and the synchronicities and how they don't want to repeat cycles and how they created things before. Because they've created certain, yeah, thank you, sir. They've, some of them have definitely grown and have expanded and have ended certain cycles, but they're not quite complete ending the cycles. And so as they're moving into this new vibration, spirit is bringing forth that they've got to repeat. That's why they've got the karmic cycles. Thank you, spirit. That's why they're in karma right now. That's why they have karmic partners, because a lot of them, these, these partners, it doesn't have to necessarily be a partner. But most are could be a karmic situation like a family or a friend or a work situation could even be a pattern of thought. But whatever the karma is that's coming to clear, whatever the lessons are that need to be learned is they're being they're on repeat right now. OK, because, you know, when you gain awareness, then you get tested. Divine masculines here are in a testing phase. That's why they're only really manifesting nine of cups. OK, they still feel trapped and they're still not exactly sure why they feel so trapped. Right? They're realizing, I'm still trapped. I'm still not free. What is this? What am I doing wrong? All right, let me take another sip of water. So let's take a look at the Cobra because something's awakening here 
in regards to this Cobra Kundalini energy that's rising. It's also not being honest with yourself completely because with Kundalini to fully rise, you have to be honest or the, the energy does not rise. Okay. The thing with Kundalini is that we want to consistently have it running through us. Okay. People get spurts and awakenings, but they can't, they can't maintain it. And so what's happening here for the masculine is there is some type of awakening that's starting. And that's why they're back and forth all the time. It's like, I'm awakening. Okay. Things are happening. I see things. Oh, whoa. Stuck, stuck in an entrapment again. Oh, okay. How is that relating to my physical world and my physical manifestations of happiness? My nine of cups. Oh crap. I feel <laughs> abandoned. I feel left out of my world. Um, I, I'm, uh, things are not working again. I got to work hard through this stuff and the wheel is going to keep turning. They keep saying, I got to keep eight, eight of, uh, six of wands here. I got to work hard. That's not really, it's not the work hard card, but it's a victory after hard work. And they think that's, what's going to bring them this victory and success is this hard work. But you know what guys, you know what, what a lot of people don't get, it doesn't have to be hard work. It doesn't. You don't have to make the decisions. You let spirit make the decisions for you. The free choice is, do I want to move in that vibration or do I want to cultivate this vibration? And so anything that I make in my life is going to cultivate towards the vibration that I want to create in my life, no matter what that other vibration looks like. And then spirit will then align the things and allow me and, and persuade me towards what choice to make. But really free will, guys, is either you follow alignment or you don't. When you're in alignment, you're constantly choosing alignment, right? So free will doesn't really make any sense to you once you're awakened, okay? This free will, the masculines here are choosing free will to work really hard for a victory and success. They, they want to suffer, apparently, I guess, uh, but they're starting to wake up to this, okay? So let's see what they're waking up. This Kundalini is waking them up. And this Scorpio new moon, what's going to happen is it's going to really shake this snake up even more so. So let's, let's take a look at this Cobra. Yeah, exactly what I was saying. Okay. We've got a couple flippers here. Yeah. We've got quite a few that have fallen out. Exactly what I was saying. The first card out was the emperor. This Kundalini is a maturing process that is bringing this masculine into a place of maturity. Okay. This is teaching him had to damn well sit on that throne, right? And you know what I'm getting from this? It's like this this masculine here, I mean, he doesn't look all that powerful. He's short and kind of like, yeah, you know, whatever. But I mean, look at the abundance around him. Look at his power. Look at his essence and how he stands, right? It's not about how anything looks to the physical. This is the power from the inside that he's created to manifest in his physical. It's different, right? It's not from, oh, this is how everybody else thinks. So this is what it looks like. No, this is like my power of tapping into some really high potent, powerful shit to manifest this stuff. There is a difference between that, right? That's what he's waking up to here. So the snake, the cobra. So let's see what else is coming in. We've got quite a few that's come in. So let's turn these over. Okay. All right. So this is what we always love to hear is seven of pentacles and the seven of pentacles and two of pentacles juggling and not making a move on anything. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> there goes my throat. Um, just sitting around juggling, not knowing what to do right now with this. Okay. It's a powerful force here. Okay, guys, let's not, let's not put the masculines down. It's powerful. They haven't, they haven't tapped into the, this feeling place. So they're not entirely sure how, what to make of this. Okay. And a lot of people don't experience Kundalini, right? Only us on this journey, on this really highly awakened, awakened journey, right? We start to feel the, this rising of this Kundalini that starts to happen. Here we've got the King of Wands with the, uh, page of swords and the knight of swords. So a lot of mental communication, uh, gossip could be happening as well. Um, talking around him that he's juggling. That's why he's waiting. There's still things that are being communicated, um, to him. Mm -hmm. It's fair to say in, in regards to this maturing process, what's happening with him because he's changing 
Thank you, Spirit. Spirit says when you change, you change roles, right? When you when you get into a contract with somebody, no matter what, if you get into a uh, relationship with somebody, you're fulfilling a role, especially in earth-based relationships. You're fulfilling a role. They then have a perception of the role that you're having in the relationship and vice versa. And the thing is, as you expand and grow, if you're not with your twin, and soulmates, you can grow too if you're very awakened soulmates, right? But a sacred connection, no matter twin or whatever the label, but if you're in a spiritual connection and you grow and the other person grows, there's an understanding that can happen there that you grow and you can work and you compromise. You can work together. With twins, it's different. When one grows, the other does grow. It's just on a, one grows on a slower frequency because one's the masculine and needs to learn how not to miss anything in the physical so that things can manifest properly, foundations can be built properly to create heaven on earth. That's really what we're doing. So... What's happening here is, yeah, a lot of things are happening in his world in regards to this hard work, feeling abandoned, and the maturing process. He's starting to recognize patterns in his life around him, gossip, people, the way they talk, the way they communicate, the rushed energy, the mental energy. Um, it's showing him, this king of wands, okay, the surface stuff. And, and so he's moving from a king of wands into an emperor. And so this maturing process is he's hearing, you know, how people gossip and talk and whatever, that type of vibration. He's noticing the difference in the change of the vibrations, the thought processes, the way how he used to think and, and what's and how he's thinking now. But he's just getting little glimpses of it. Right. Mm hmm. And. You know, he's still, he's still in the mindset, i got to work hard for this. But as as the wheel turns, okay, um, I need to, you know, put the battle in, the, the six of wands. Like, i got to go to battle. It's like that old mentality, like, let's go win that war. Yeah, let's go win the war. Victory. Ah! It's that. That's the old masculine distorted template. That's not, that's not what, it, when you're in alignment with God and you're with your twin, um, it just works. It just works, okay? Yeah, you, you're still going to have some disagreements, but that's when you do the inner work. When one clears on the inside, the other one releases, and then, and then it works, right? It's a different way that it works because it's so deep. But this masculine is still in the way of like, oh, I got to work so hard. And, but the wheel is turning, guys. The wheel is turning. So that's changing very quickly now. Okay, people around are talking, gossiping. I keep hearing gossip. Um... I want to grab these cards here. Let's pull that. What is, can we get a clarifier on that spirit? With the Page of Swords, I want to pull on the Page of Swords. Yeah, the Page of Swords and the Knight of Swords, please. Yeah, right here. Very mental, all about communication too. Something's being talked about, okay? And some, and some kind of like rushed energy as well. So let's see what that is about. What is going on here, spirit, in regards to... The Page of Swords and the Knight of Swords, this quick communication, this fast action, talk, gossip. What is going on here for the Divine Masculine, for Union of Scorpio? Yeah, see, it's about him growing up and the renewal. His ideas are changing. I feel like whatever the karmic situation that's happening, he's like, you know, someone saying, you know, let, let's go to Denny's for breakfast. And he's like, you know what? I don't want to eat like that anymore. I'd rather go get a smoothie. And they're like, what's wrong with you? Why do you want a smoothie? Why are you, why are you do, why are you all vegan now? What's going on? Like, you don't want bacon and eggs like that kind of thing. You know, it's like things are changing and he's recognizing that because he's renewing himself. And the karmic situation is, um, how is the karmic situation dealing with this renewal spirit of himself? Oh, the karmic feels guilty for their enlightenment. Isn't that interesting? So they're recognizing that there's an enlightenment process that's going on with, with the karmic, okay? Whatever the situation is, okay? Um, but the karmic situation that um, there's enlightenment happening and there's a lot of guilt. So it's like this person knows that this person is growing and changing very quickly. And they may action things out of guilt. Is there, is there any way that... There's action happening out of the guilt. Oh, yeah. They're trying to push things even further. They're very impatient. Okay, so if you're dealing with a karmic partner, 
mother, lover, friend, work, boss, whatever the situation is, they're, they're aware. They're aware, okay? There's guilt and there's impatience here. It's like, okay, can we hurry up and just move on now and make decisions? And the masculine is like, okay, hey, I'm maturing very quickly. There are things that are shifting very fast and I can't, you know, I'm feeling trapped. I, I, I'm, ideas are shifting. Um, I'm still feeling not quite whole in myself and I'm not sure how to move forward. And he's getting little pieces of enlightenment and then things are being talked about in his world. And he's like, I'm not entirely sure about this. And that's, and so there's, it's causing some friction. Okay. Okay. Sip of coconut water. Let's see about the feminine. Let's see what's going on with the feminine. Okay, spirit. What is going on for feminine energy here? So let's, let's relook that, take a look at this again. So feminine energy was really about working in the light and the dark simultaneously on both spectrums being able to flow in the water being very gentle kind soft sweet okay innocent okay rekindling the innocence within between such spectrums between such light and dark right and being able to flow with the water and the emotions allowing it and then grounding them into the earth okay and moving that energy into the earth you know when i get frustrated and i'm feeling my twin so much and i because i can feel his guilt i can feel his pain i can feel everything in him and i can't handle i i purge for him like when i was in ayahuasca spirit ayahuasca told me you need to purge for him like what and that's happened since then i will feel him and i will have to express that and purge for him and i have to take that energy and ground it into my workouts or i can't function some days and i've got to push that energy through just to relieve the one body so that he can at least move we could both at least function for the day you know and that's what feminines are learning to do is to be okay feeling that you may be feeling your masculine and realizing you're going to have to be able to learn how to flow with that energy recognize oh my god this is my masculine feeling this i'm going to go into it i'm going to heal it for our one body and i'm going to ground that into the earth i'm going to let that go right <clears throat> let's see what else is going on with divine feminine spirit this is for the new moon in scorpio for feminine energy coming through for divine feminine okay first card out is dun, 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 judgment wanting a reconciliation a renewal of this connection all right and spirit is saying that um okay we're gonna clarify that they're coming through a little stronger they're like don't just hold it up and we're gonna we're gonna just they got something else. <laughs> Let me just see what they what they want me to do. Let's just go through these. We've got the Page of Cups, okay, Princess of Cups, which is, um, you know, could be apology. So I'm feeling here that feminines could be wanting a reconciliation if, you know, an offer of love was coming through, an apology, um, a, a deep communication of an explanation, okay, of what's happened here, of the betrayal, the Ten of Swords. Okay, we've got Ten of Swords. Okay. We also have healing the betrayal, right? And the, the star and the four of pentacles and wishes fulfillment, right? Is the star, okay? And also the four of pentacles um, being closed off, okay? To the healing. So spirit is saying we can't be closed off to the healing, okay? We can't be closed off to the healing at all. I'm going to just clarify. They want me to clarify that judgment card with my right away, so... Because this is about, they're saying, there's a bigger story here with the judgment card that we're going to clarify just the judgment card. They're saying that this story is not, um, who's watching, so it's not just a cutthroat, like, oh, judgment is reconciliation. There's something more going on here, so let's see. What did you want to say about the judgment card, Spirit, as you're speaking through me right now? What did you want to say? We're just taking upright two, right? We're not. Okay. Okay. They're saying a reconciliation can happen. Victory and success can happen. But there's a defensiveness that's happy, happening here, okay? For victory and success. Now, let's go back here because the Six of Wands was here as well that we've talked a lot about because that's going to turn. The darkness is going to, you know, they're in this mindset that they got to work really hard for victory and success. But as the wheel turns, that's going to happen a lot faster. The darkness is going to keep moving through their entrapment so that they can gain in this place of renewal, right? They're changing their thought process. Theirs is a little bit like this. Is, the divine masculine is like they take a step forward, they pause for a bit, they take a step forward, they pause, they go back, they, you know, 
And that's fine, and, and we do, feminines do that as well, but we do it a lot faster, right? Um, so they're saying this victory and success can happen, but we've got to let the guard down. Feminines, I'm being closed off to energy, and that needs to heal. The betrayal still needs to heal, guys, okay? Because with this judgment, what's clarified with the defensiveness that's happening here for victory and success to happen. And that's what they wanted to say, that it's a reconciliation, but... The feminine's got to learn this realm here, right? Of moving from dark and light, okay? And not being so close. They want me to clarify this for pentacles here. Feminines are closing their hearts off. Okay, we have the knight of cup, the knight of pentacles. Oh, these are way too many, spirit. The knight of pentacles, slow moving action. What is it about this for? Thank you. Yeah, they're closed off until they get an apology. They're sitting back trying to balance until they get a certain offer. They're slowly moving off and they're closed off, okay? It might be just right that, yes, an apology is due, but let's not look at duality, okay? Um, ugh, we don't need someone to say, I'm sorry for what, what I've done, okay? As long as somebody is owning up for their own growth, that's really what divine counterpart is about. It's like, you know, it's not about you know, I'm sorry I was in the wrong and somebody has a righteous hand over that, that comes with like a place of righteousness. And you know, like my, you know, growing up when you tell kids like, okay, now you say sorry to him. And they're like, I don't want to say, the kid looks at you like you're insane. Like, I don't want to say sorry. I don't feel it. I don't feel it. Why do I need to say sorry? <laughs> right? It's kind of that. It's kind of that situation. So if you're expecting an apology, spirit is like, you got to let that defensive go. It's done. Okay. Heal the betrayal. The betrayal is inside of you. Okay. Divine feminines. That's why this dark and light is coming through in this new moon. So, and with this page of cups, again, right? Wanting this apology. Spirit is saying this victory and success can't happen. You've got to let go of the defensiveness here and heal this because it's yours. It's destiny, but you've got to heal the pain inside of you and open up a little bit more. Okay. That as long if your mask and decide wants to come back, right? That's because you've healed the, the part inside of you, right? Yes, everyone has free will, right? But it's not so black and white like that. A feminine can definitely pull her masculine in, okay? It depends on if you stay true to yourself. It's a fine balance, guys. You've got to stay true to yourself inside, healed, that, you know, you don't expect anything from them and yet still desiring God's greatest gift for you and still being able to move on at the same time and being able to be in all those dimensions at the same time. It's not just like you pick one path and you walk that path. We're at a place where we're multidimensional, where we're in the present moment, merging multiple paths at the same time. Okay. That's mastery. That, that's why Jesus was able to like walk on water and shit like that, if that ever happened. But I think he was here to show really about how, what a magician you can really be and work with energy. And so it's a humble road to walk on. You're not going to get divine feminines to the humble road if you're still holding this expectation that I am deserving of an apology because of the betrayal. Spirit wants you to heal the betrayal. Okay. That's what's coming up in the new moon. You heal the betrayal. You heal that. And then what's destined for you will come. But it's not to pull the masculine in either. Right, guys? It's to heal so that you can be open to all the abundance of the universe coming to you. And let the masculine go to do his thing. But still loving him and feeling him and being okay in that. And that's the hardest part is because we only tend to let people in if we're getting something back in return. But that's conditional love. Right? Unconditional is like we love no matter what. Wow. Well, that was a little intense. So let's uh, take a look. <laughs> let's, um, I need another water here. Wow. Wow, 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 wow. So what I'm getting here is like, we're going to take a look at the union between the two um, in the extension. Okay, guys, we're going to look at the healing um, between the two. We're going to see um, the, in, the actions that the masculine is going to take and the actions that the feminine is going to take. And we're going to just see more or less what, what is in the mind space, the head space and things like that and get into more detail. But again, you've got to join my subscription. All that um, information is down below. So we're going to take a look here in regards to the uh, yeah, these cards, the, the, uh, shocker cards. Hold on. 
Oh my God, coconut water is so good. Okay. So Spirit, what healing messages here do you have for Divine Feminine with the new moon that's coming up? Oh, that's really fast. Oh, they're really getting you, getting you, Divine Feminines. They're coming at you. <laughs> Let's see. We don't need to be perfect, my beautiful Divine Feminines. There's a thing about trying to be perfect and that everything needs to be perfect. Even your healing doesn't necessarily need to be perfect. The point in your healing is that you are at a place because nothing is because you're already perfect as it is, but you are at a place of totally, completely open to receiving your calling, right? And being open to however that comes to you and your vibration. That's the hard part. We tend to think that everything needs to be absolutely perfect. And that's another restriction that's holding back, holding you back. Trickery. Okay? Being honest with yourself and your desires of what you want in your life. This isn't about your masculine either. This is about how to really step up in a divine feminine energy. Right? It's never about another person. Right? This is about healing the betrayal because a lot of feminines are stuck. Like, well, he did this and he did that and I'm cutting him off and I'm done and I'm loving myself and moving on. But do you feel the intention and the vibration behind that? Because everything is intention. Do you feel that? Like, that doesn't feel good. That vibration that's behind there. It's like, no, I'm moving on. I cut him off. That's done. That's You're still not being honest with yourself. You know, it's coming to a place that's like, you know what? I love him. Yeah, there was a lot of gossip. Yeah, there was a lot of manipulation. Did it hurt? Yeah, but what did it hurt? It hurt my ego. And, you know, I will love him till the day that I die. Unlike anybody that I would probably ever experience on this planet again. Such a divine love. But that's okay. That's okay. Life is still beautiful for me. And I'm grateful for that. Okay? Spirit says here it's about being impartial yeah yeah look at this we've got despondence and impartiality with discovery so this not being honest with yourself right and expecting perfection right that things have to be a certain way and your way this could be just your perception of what perception perfection is right it's like well no i'm not doing anything until he apologizes trust me my friends i've been there i don't even care if i hear an apology from it all i want is you know a reconciliation where we can talk about it's like oh my god I had to grow and you did that and that helped me grow and I did this and this helped you to grow and look at where we came from wow now we're in union and we can actually talk about this and we can see where the growth was and why our souls needed to do that right it's an it's a neutral neutrality it's like impartiality it's to come into this place of balance and not emotionally charged we're actually we say that we're emotional beings and you know that we're only emotional beings because love is the only true feeling everything else is very um lower vibrationally charged and that's okay we're okay it's we're allowed to feel that we're here on earth we're supposed to feel those things but we don't have to create stories dramas our lives and nor do we need to create out of those lower vibrational feelings i would rather create from a high place of unconditional love for myself and to create that vibration of service instead of you know well i want the lust and i want that you get that when you're in alignment right? But you have to trust the alignment first to bring you everything else below that vibration, right? But if you're, if you're deciding to create and manifest out of the lower vibration, there's no way that's going to get you higher up. It's going to take a lot longer to move that way, but it's possible. But what would you rather? Let's just get right into it, right? Let's get into the discovery part of ourselves truly and honor that first, right? And growing this heart and blossoming and, and connecting to spirit to a trust the universe to bring in this beautiful, beautiful, beautiful uh, abundance, right? Not to be despondent in our life, okay? Suffering, painful, avoiding things, right? <sighs> yeah, ignoring things. Spirit's really asking Divine Feminine to come really, really, really deep into a place of like honoring and um, yeah, cutting out the emotional stuff, learning how to work with your emotions and learning how to release them. Yeah. 
All right, we're gonna get one more card and then we're gonna take it to the extended, guys. So uh, the extended, I'm not doing separate rentals at all. What I do is I have a monthly subscription for, right now you're in luck because sign up ends on October 29th, okay guys? October 29th is the last day that you can purchase the early bird, $25 a month. There will be videos like the extensions for this and a whole bunch of other stuff. Um, that price goes up November 11th. 11 on 11 11 day goes up to $50 okay and we also have coaching tips and all that kind of stuff so this is the soul's journey by James Van Pra. we're going to take a look here at what is some of the healing messages and final messages that spirit would like to give to the divine masculine and to the divine feminine what healing messages do you have for divine masculine here spirit Well, okay. first we have imagination. I'll tell you the next one that came, that came out. And this is great. This is about, um, you know, getting into that place of that dreamlike state and looking ahead. The imagination is definitely your third eye. That's how you use your psychic abilities is trusting the images that come to you. And so this, he's, he's looking ahead. He's using his third eye. He's imagining, you know, um, he's trying to be creative. He, he knows what he wants to create in his life and he's trying to look forward to that. And right now he's doing that because he's ending things. I'm learning that endings are merely beginnings. Okay. So this masculine got death. Okay. So this is very interesting because we have a full alignment, which is Kundalini rising. This is what they want me to show you right here. Okay. Crown chakra root chakra the snake is rising up he's getting awareness he's waking up from the bear busy working looking ahead having the renewal of himself right the energy is rising guys he's putting end to things in this new moon coming into mercury retrograde this leo in scorpio is pushing this forward for him okay let's take a look here at divine feminine what is going on for divine feminine please spirit Thank you. We've got two now. Divine Feminine, very interesting. You're stuck in the solar plexus here. We've got yellow. We've got pride and patience. I love myself and I see myself in everyone. And patience is I accept that everything happens in divine order. Divine timing. I know we don't like to hear that, guys, but it is what it is, you know, and it's going to take the mask in a hot minute. But you know, this is sitting in your solar plexus and knowing your power. And that really rings true here. What needs to come up for healing now and recognizing more of, you know, what, yeah, yeah what the, uh, the balances between that light and that dark and being able to be able to be in all of those realms and all multitude of feelings at the same time, being able to master that. I know it's not easy. But join my subscription and, and I'll have some coaching tips for you. All right, guys, if uh, that's the end of that reading, uh, there may be a little, I'm going to put a little preview of the extensions. You can see what happens in the uh, subscription and then you can sign up down below. Okay, so much love. So stay tuned. Don't forget to subscribe, like, comment. I'd love to hear what you guys have to say about that. And don't forget to just stay tight. The, the, um, a little blip of what's going to be happening in the uh, subscription. We get into more detail. You can take a look and then you can even make your choice if you want to come join us over there. Bye guys. So much love. Don't forget to subscribe. Bye.